The most stunning jewelry comes together every two years as the world's exclusive jewelry houses exhibit at the Biennale in Paris. The 28th edition of the fair featured four relatively young contemporary jewelry houses among the antiquarian's stands. Cindy Chow from Taiwan, Nirav Mori from India, and Bogosian and de Grisogano from Geneva. The latter the only one to have previously exhibited at the Biennale. Founded in 2007 in Geneva, the house of Bogusian quickly took a strong position in the jewelry world. It is a harmonious combination of unconventional design with rare stones, tradition with innovation, and Eastern culture with Western. For example, they have revived and perfected the technique of stone and stone, known in ancient Egypt and actively used in the Mughal era. During the process of creation, a specially faceted mineral is placed in a groove cut in the other, creating an illusion of integrity. The Swiss house the Grisogon is relatively young, it is only 23, but this doesn't prevent the brand from being amongst the top 10 most famous jewelry companies in the world. Its founder and creative director Pavas Grozzi has created a passion for black diamonds, increasing their cost sixtenfold. He began to use icy diamonds and string gray skin on his design and invented the brownie brown gold. He plays with volumes and colors, loves shocking, and combines super rare stones with semi precious ones. Grozzi likes to surprise his friends, clients, and fans, and in this art he has no aqua. For example, at the last Biennale, the Grisogon introduced the constellation, the most expensive rock diamonds on the world, dating in at 813 carats, that was bought for a record 63 million dollars. Diamonds are the most precious form of love. Um, diamonds make a woman really feel beautiful. A passionate love for diamonds and understanding of luxury helped Nirav Modi to build a successful jewelry company in just six years. His jewelry is a combination of classic European design with Indian motifs and rare investment minerals. They are inspired by precious masterpieces from the Mughal treasury, arts, poetry and nature. Madi himself describes his style of work as a push to ignite femininity without being tied to something specific. We have uh, four patented cuts. We have the endless cut, which is, um, it looks like it's carved out of one diamond, a halo of diamonds. We have the mogul cut, which I have here. And in the mogul cut, this is inspired by mogul miniatures. And from the uh, petal, is the diamond was cut in the shape of a petal instead of a pave diamond, which you can see here. We have the Eindra cut, and what we did with the Eindra cut was we created, we replaced gold links with diamonds. So when you see here, it's just diamonds on diamonds, with a flexibility also. I have uh, two young daughters, and one day I saw them playing with toy bangles that stretch, and they were laughing, and I said, let's make this into a jewel. Why can't women uh, have fun with their jewelry? And we created this. As you see, it's, it stretches and it just it fits any hand. It's very playful and beautiful. And then we have, I think, the most beautiful of all is the jasmine diamond cut, where it's got the softness and brilliance of diamonds. Cindy Chow, the world's famous jeweler from Taipei, celebrates 12 years in the industry. During this short period, the designer's jewelry has become a tidbit for even the most discerning collectors. Therefore, he works always cause a frenzy at Christie's and Sotheby's auctions. I think every, every artist has a different um, essence and the attributes. As I always share to my people or my clients, I think everybody has a different taste. But the most important is your work has to be very authentic, your own style. So for example, like a lot of jewelry designer, a lot of jewelry houses that make a different flowers, butterflies, but why is it just different? Because it's my 
own essence and also it's a signature of my own style.